Hi folks, hope you're keeping well. Matt Harmsworth here. I am the lead consultant at uh, Rover Environmental. Just taking a break from the air spading work in the uh, in the rain today. Um, and today I wanted to talk to you about aboricultural um, method statements. You see, there are a few stages when it comes to tree report requirements in relation to planning applications. And what most don't realise is that if you're building close to trees, you'll almost certainly need a tree protection plan and a aboricultural method statement. And then, to be honest, that's only just the beginning. Um, the content varies from project to project and the scope really does just depend on the size of the development but I'm guessing like most people um, if you're watching this then you've most likely had a planning consent come through with a condition on it for a tree protection plan and a method statement and the reason for this is because it basically it wasn't supplied with your uh, initial planning application it's that simple and what most people in my experience and that's why most people in my experience generally tend to go for our premium option which gives you everything you need right through the whole planning process but what is a method statement and protection plan and why is it being conditioned on your application uh, well to put it simply the local authority will want to ensure that the trees are protected right through the development phase of your project the documents that uh, we generally produce uh, to discharge the planning application will form the backbone of a plan for implementation on site. That is, the builders have to follow it. It becomes a legal requirement. The aboricultural method statement is uh, essentially a playbook for measures and procedures designed to protect the trees on site. We then have a tree protection plan, which is a graphical 2D description of the AMS essentially. So it shows, it shows you and your builders exactly which trees are to be removed, which are be uh, to be retained and protected and what protection measures are required. It may well deep dive into special foundations and ground protection techniques if you're building close to trees, but that will all be discussed and uh, agreed with your ARB consultant. One thing to avoid is to try and produce these documents yourself. We do see this a fair bit and uh, frustration soon builds up between all stakeholders. If history has taught us anything, it's that councils are inefficient uh, and the system really isn't set up for simplicity, so just don't take the risk. Reports and plans all have to comply with the British standard and have to be carefully prepared. So today, I'd have you consider the possibility that if you're holding a decision notice in your hand with a planning condition for a tree report, don't delay and get solid, reliable advice. Because with planning applications, if history has taught us anything, it's that getting your surveys done correctly will get you that much needed extension of your dreams much quicker.